Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm gonna to show you five underrated features that you can find on your Samsung Galaxy device. Some of these you may not have even seen before, some of them you forgot you could totally do, and some of them you probably use on a daily basis. So the first one I wanna show you is how you're able to get into a split screen from your recent applications. So let's say that you pull on up, you wanna take a look at your recent applications, and there's one of these that you do wanna use, and then maybe send a text message to someone else. So all you'd have to do is, instead of actually having the application turned on and going through all these different gestures of what you're able to do. So all you'd have to do is go inside of your recent apps. You can press and hold on the one that you would like to use. And then this is a way that you're able to just put it either on the bottom, the middle or the top. So this way, if you wanted to have a split screen opportunity, you're able to get this done and then you can open up your other or second application. So again, it's really fun that you're able to get this done actually from the recents menu. Some people didn't know you're able to do that. And this one could also be one of those features that is a part of Samsung One UI 5.0. But again, you just want to find it press and hold and then drag it to whichever position you would like to put it in. Underrated feature number two is a way that you're able to go back to those past applications rather than just opening up that whole recent application tray right here. So I'm using gestures, so I'm swiping up. Or if you have that little application icon right over here, all you'd have to do now is just swipe from the left to the right. And you just have to do this one on the bottom. And as you swipe, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, you cannot start it by going from the right to the left. So if you're trying from your home screen, you know, trying to go from over here to over here you're really just going to scroll through the home screens of your phone you want to go from the left to the right and then the really fun thing you're able to do is if you wanted to you could take a look at all of the different animations you can bring it up you can bring it down uh, it's pretty fun that you're able to just kind of scroll through all these applications just by doing a simple little swipe now once you've started it yeah you can go from the right to the left and you can go back and forth if you wanted to again you can play with those animations you can bring it up bring it down now let's say that you are inside of that recent tray or those recent applications if you're to swipe up, it'll get rid of the application. If you swipe down, it's going to open it. Underrated feature number three is one that is brand new, but I do state that it is underrated because let's say that you're inside of Instagram. Let's say that you're watching a video. Maybe it's somebody who is singing. You really like the song or you're trying to figure out who the artist is. But through this, especially with Instagram and several other applications, if you try to press and hold and maybe do copy and paste, you can see that there is nowhere that I'm able to copy and paste it, not only through the app application, but also through Samsung One UI's normal user interface. So I'm trying to go through this whole thing. I find who this video is about, but I'm not able to do a copy and paste and then transfer it over into Facebook or YouTube because maybe their name or, or whatever is just something that's very unique that you don't want to go back and forth. So all you'd have to do is if you open up your edge panels and if you have your smart select page right here, I'm just going to go right here on this rectangle. So I'm going to highlight this area right there. And let's say that this is the name of the person, the song, or the location, whatever it may be. All you'd have to do now is just hit on done and then now you can just extract the text. It's super simple to grab whatever you are looking for from any application. Even if they don't allow you to do that copy and paste originally through the application, here you go. Now you can hit on copy and now you can paste it over into YouTube. You can find that song, find that artist, find that location, whatever it may be. Again, very underrated because there's no other way that I was able to grab that text from this application. And this is just one of those examples of the applications that doesn't allow you to do that. Underrated feature number four is dealing with the S Pen. So if you have a Samsung phone with the S Pen and you want to jot something down really quick, all you'd have to do is press and hold on the S Pen button, double tap on the screen, and it pops up a quick note. So this way, if you wanted to jot something down really quick, you'd also be able to hit up here. You can exit out. And no matter what you just got done writing down, you go back in your Samsung notes. There you go. And you have your note already saved and ready to go. And I guess I'll throw this one in there as well. If your screen is off, you'd be able to pull the S Pen out of its little pocket. You'd be able to Jot down all of your notes. This is called screen off memo. Basically, the screen was off. You're able to create your little memo. You can hit on save, place your S Pen right back into the device, and you're right back to square one. So you'd be able to take your notes anytime that you are just pulling it out of your pocket without even unlocking it on its black screen. Or if the S Pen is already out, press and hold the S Pen button, double tap the screen, create your quick note, and you'd be able to get it out as well. And again, everything is still saved. And then lastly, the fifth underrated feature that you're able to do on Samsung phones is that let's say that you're taking a look inside of maybe Chrome or Twitter, maybe a long text message, you'd be able to do a thing that is called palm swipe to capture. So you can just use your palm, you can capture whatever's on the screen. You can go left to right or right to left. You also have this little button right here. You're able to go through, you can actually make it a longer image. So this way it's maybe it's a really long message thread that you need to take an image of and save it for later. You'd be able to get that done. You can also crop it if you want to make it a smaller image rather than going 
going to the longer image and then you can share it immediately right from the screen if you wanted to. So all you have to do is go back inside your gallery. There's going to be that long image that you're now able to save, send, do whatever you would like to do. But again, you're able to get this all done with a little swipe of the palm and one little button. You can make it a little bit longer, but hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later. Oh,